Yo, what's up guys? JJ here and today I'm buying fish off of Facebook. Wish me luck. So so here's the deal. I saw this guy post on Facebook on like an aquarium group that he has mystery snails. Got a bunch of mystery snails. He messed up, let all the eggs hatch, he doesn't want them, doesn't have anywhere to put them. So I was like, I like mystery snails and I could probably sell them. Oh my, I just put my elbow in the water right here. Oh my gosh. Look. Alright, so Anyways, I was like, yeah, I like mystery snails. I could probably breed them. I could probably sell them. Everybody likes mystery snails. All right, so I told him, and he didn't get back to me right away, and it was like three weeks later. It was, it was a whole, like, back and forth. And long story short, today we're picking him up, and I don't know what to think, because we didn't even talk about price. I don't know if he's giving me these snails, how many I'm going to get. Um, I don't know. We'll see. He says he has, like, a hundred plus so I gotta get a container ready actually I'm gonna get two containers ready and I'm just gonna use these uh, dollar store gallon bins these have actually been super clutch I've kept bettas in them I've been keeping frying them but we'll fill them up with a little bit of water and then go hop in the car and get these snails bro look at this note why does he gotta meet me so we're meeting at a bowling alley and why does he gotta meet me in the back bro I don't know, this is sus. Okay, we're in the car. I'm heading across town to pick up these mystery snails, and I'm a little nervous. I mean, it's always a little weird, like, just meeting somebody in a parking lot to buy live animals. But, uh, this time I don't even have my phone, so if I can't find them, I can't, like, send them a message. I dropped my phone in a fish tank, by the way. Honestly, it's amazing that it, it's the first time that's happened. I would have thought much sooner. But anyway, so we're gonna cruise on around. We're meeting at a bowling alley, in the back of a bowling alley. So I've never been there. I can't even look up directions without my phone. So hopefully I can figure it out. Um, all right, I'm gonna focus on the road and I'm gonna come back when I get there. Okay, uh, we just got here. I'm in the back of this bowling alley. I think I'm the first one here, so we just got to play the waiting game. All right, guys, the deed is done. We met up in the parking lot. We got some snails. We actually got the snail jackpot for free, baby. All these snails are about to go to the crib. We got some tanks, and then I can't even make this up. It was right next to my local fish store. Check it out. So we are at Fantastic Fish Aquariums, and let's go take a little tour over here. back in the fish room always good to stop by fantastic fish they've always got a good selection of cichlids especially cichlids that not everybody has but um, I can't believe that the random bowling alley the guy decided to meet at was right by the fish store uh, we met there because he had a bowling league he had to like play so he's like you have to scoop all the you have to scoop everything I can't get my hands wet for my bowling fingers I was like all right so um, let's check these snails out We've got the mystery snail mother load. It's so many. It, we might have 50 plus. Should I count them? I'm going to count them real quick. Bro, we've got like 70 snails in here. And then my guy hooked it up. He put a clutch of eggs in here too. So we're going to see if we can hatch these eggs. But first we got to figure out where all these snails are going. Now I can put some in here with my uh, lab cichlid grow outs, but I don't want to put all of them in there. And then I think there's, I've got a little 10 gallon down here that had babies in it yesterday, little lab babies, and I've got to move the fish out of there and we'll put the rest of the mystery snails in there. 
So this grow out tank is actually gonna be the perfect snail tank. I've left so much like mulm down there because it's actually good for the fish. There's microorganisms in there and little things that the babies can eat and the snails are absolutely gonna munch on it. So we'll put some of our snails in there. The little babies are interested. And usually anything I'm throwing in here is food. So I'm not going to throw all of them in there. Because I don't want it to disturb what I've got going on too much. I don't want to eat my java moss either. But what I've got to do is scoop this lady out. Because she has already had her babies. And they're in a grow out tank. And then all the rest of our snails can grow in here. Nice and easy. And there she goes. Alright, back with everybody else. Alright, let's unload some snails. Hey, these guys are doing work on each other. Look at these snails sucking on each other like that. What the flip? Alright, I think that's a good amount of uh, mystery snails for this tank. I want to move some of them to the pond, but the pond has a leak in it right now, so we gotta wait on that. And then I've got two more, because I've got a special spot for these two. Okay, my last two snails are going to the backyard, to the patio, because a long time ago we built this little whiskey barrel pond, and I think it could use some snails. Alright, there you go little dudes, have fun. Oh, look at these hungry guppies and mollies. It's just live bears in here. And the little guy's nibbling on my fingers. I'm gonna have to feed them in a bit. Alright guys, I think that's about it for me. We'll see what happens with these mystery snails. I'm not sure those eggs will hatch, but we'll probably be able to get some to reproduce very soon. Um, honestly, as far as meeting people off the internet goes, that was one of my least awkward experiences. Nice people. They um, tried to give me some advice on how to take care of the snails, and I was like, okay, great, thank you, thank you, yes, uh-huh. <laughs> because, um, you know, I wanted to be polite, I didn't want to go, oh, I got it, don't worry about it. Because I, I love to see people who care uh, about their aquatic life as much as those guys did. People who really want to find the best home and make sure their stuff is taken care of. Um, so yeah, if you're keeping pets of any kind, make sure you're doing so responsibly. And that's it for me. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Hit it. It's right there. And then subscribe because we've got so much going on in the fish room and so many updates. You're not going to want to miss these. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Guys. Guys. I was editing the video and there's already eggs. There's new clutches of eggs. Like and subscribe to see the babies.